long time ago in a vector space far, far away. There was a planet. Let's call it Earth. That's a fine Earth, you might say. Round. Anyways, on this Earth, there was a village. Oh, and let's just say that this was so long ago that they were living in two dimensions. So this village is in the vector space V. That is R2 over the field of reals. In this village, there were two neighbors. The first, a family known as the Smiths, had a unique way of navigating the vector space using the basis vectors i and j. When giving directions, the Smiths would give coordinates in their own basis. The other neighbors, a family known as the Tildes, had their own basis for the vector space v, which used basis vectors n and e. So, the story begins when the Tildes happen upon a fountain of eternal life, and like good neighbors, they wanted to pass along this amazing find. Before the Smiths could get to the fountain, they had to convert the tilde's directions into their own basis using an identity map, with a matrix representation we'll call P. So now, both are able to navigate to the fountain. Meanwhile, in another galaxy, there were some extraterrestrial beings. They gave directions in the vector space W, which is R3 over the field of reals. One group of aliens we'll call the Herdus, and they had a basis that they liked to use for R3. Another group, the slug tildes, had their own basis for this vector space. These aliens had run into a similar problem, trying to give directions to a small village on a strange blue planet far away, and determine the identity map representation Q, which turns the Herdu's coordinates into slug tilde coordinates. On one of their trips to Earth, the Herdu's met the Smiths. Having just learned about the Fountain of Youth, they were eager to tell the Herdu's just how to get there. The Herdus were initially confused because they had to map the two-dimensional Earth vector space V onto their own vector space W. This map is denoted by script A and has a matrix representation A when written in terms of their respective bases. Back in their galaxy, the slug tildes were super excited when they heard of the fountain of eternal life and wanted to know how to get there. The cool thing about this is that the slug tildes can find the fountain based on the identity maps P and Q and the matrix representation of the linear map from V to W, which here we call A. We also can relate the navigation systems of the tildes on Earth and the slug tildes in space without going the roundabout way and using a different matrix representation of script A called A tilde, where A tilde equals Q A P. The conversion of A into A tilde is a change of coordinates for the linear map into a different set of bases vectors for the spaces V and W. Each group uses a different basis and would have not been able to arrive at this fountain without a change of coordinates. As a summary of this analogy, we've created a table with the basis and coordinates that each group uses. We have the identity maps P and Q, where P maps the tilde coordinates to the Smith coordinates, and Q maps the hairdo's coordinates to the slug tilde's coordinates. The linear map A between the vector spaces is denoted by Y equals script A X. Here, A is the matrix representation of this map between the Smiths and the hairdo's systems, or from alpha I to beta I. And A tilde is the matrix representation of the linear map from the tilde's to the slug tilde's systems, or in other words, from the alpha tilde to the beta tilde coordinates. A tilde can be written as QAP. Thanks everyone for listening. We hope you enjoyed our video on change of coordinates.